What's up everyone and welcome back to Movie Race. Season 5 and its 10 episodes were over in a matter of seconds. Did we like it? Yeah. Did we love it? Of course. Do we want more of it? Heck yeah! Don't swipe or click away because here is Big Mouth Season 6 first look. With ratings going through the freaking roof. It's probably all come from different fathers, right? My dad was a lemon. My dad was a purple. Actually, your dad is a lemon. Big Mouth is probably going to become a household name. When a show gets a 7.9 rating on IMDb and a 99% on Rotten Tomatoes, you know you've got something. Frankly, we don't know what that something is. Maybe it's the awkwardness of puberty, maybe it's the fact that it exposes something naughty or wrong our own quote-unquote hormone monster has made us think. But whatever the case, Big Mouth is here to stay. In fact, we already knew that there's going to be season 6 of the show since Netflix gave the show a green light and renewed it for 6 seasons back in 2019 when the third season of the show had just aired. Again, this was in the fall of 2019, which means Netflix trusted the show so much that they went ahead and gave it a green light for three seasons. Is it surprising? Well, it depends on how you look at it. If you compare it to other new shows, then it is. But if you compare the success of Big Mouth to other seasons, then this logic holds no ground. Why? Because Big Mouth cracks the top 10 spot in 50 different countries on Netflix whenever it airs on the platform. And it always takes the much desired numero uno spot in the USA. Are you the puberty fairy? The fuck did you just call me? The puberty fairy? Puberty fairy. So, Netflix isn't taking much of a gamble since the show continues to break records across the globe. So, when's season 6 coming out? Well, all of the previous 5 seasons have been coming out in the fall of each consecutive year. So, regardless of what happens, it's safe to assume that we're going to have a 6th season in the fall of 2022. So, expect new adventures from the same lovable cast somewhere in October or November of next year. So, who is going to be part of the cast of season 6? Well, it's pretty much the same guys that we saw so far. Nick Cross John Mulaney, Jesse Klein, Jason Manzoukas, Jordan Peele, Andrew Reynolds, etc. We will be seeing the same cast taking on the same voiceover roles in the upcoming season. The only change we know about came from the previous season. True, Nikki, before I met your father, I was with some men who were very well endowed, and honestly, it was too much. When Jenny Slate left the role of Missy and Ayo Abriri took over the part, this is done because the show thought it was unfair that a white actress should get to voice a black character on the show. So the actress happily smashed that like button, just like you should do now if you haven't already. But no, in all seriousness, what she did was step down from the role and let a talented African-American actress take on that role. Netflix even released a short video where the fans get to meet the new actress who has just joined the show, which is another reason fans have been liking the show. Now, on the flip side, we still want to know what's going on with the show moving into season 6. You can't choose who you like. I don't want to like Sean William Scott, but I do. What can I say? He's fun. Since we're talking about Missy, let's start with her and move across the entire cast and see what is likely to happen in the upcoming season. And boy, what a season it was for Missy. She grew into an angry teenager that almost destroyed all of the friendships she has built throughout the season and even started bringing that sour attitude at home. However, in the end, she realize that all of those fake rumors she's been spreading do nothing but hurt the people around her. Then, Jesse apologized and the little hate worm that's been plaguing young teenage life had just turned into a love bug. Since she also lost Devon in the previous season, who got back to his toxic ex, we might actually see Missy taking Devon for herself, since her confidence is growing with each passing day. Since we mentioned Jesse here, we feel it would be appropriate to talk about her character next. In the previous season, Jesse had just explored her sexuality and she found out that she's in love with another lesbian girl by the name of Allie. But there was a problem. Allie was in a relationship with Samara. Everything is fine and dandy, but Samara is jealous of Allie hanging out with Jesse. They break up and Jesse's the only one left to confront her. While all of this is going on, Jesse and Missy's friendship is practically non-existent. I'm sorry. I actually, um, I need to get back home, okay? Um, thank you for talking to me. Thankfully, we've already said that Jesse apologized for her behavior and they managed to mend the broken pieces. In season 6, we're probably going to see her delving deeper into her sexuality, and she and Allie are probably going to become a thing. Jay was another guy that had to deal with his sexuality in season 5. He had trouble finding a partner that would satisfy him emotionally as well as sexually. In a state of indecision, he found out that Matthew has a crush on him. He realized that he has 
feelings for this boy too, so the two started dating. Even though he's back with Lola for a brief period of time, it's still good to see his character growing up and moving away from all the pillow humping. We think that it's going to be really cool to see Jay finding an emotionally stable partner, but they still haven't explored the realms of the bedroom, and Jay will definitely shine on that front in season 6. I want to help you guys make up. Like, why? Because... I would never want to come between you and Devin. Andrew, as you know, is probably the horniest teen in all of season 5. Someone even goes far to say that he was too horny, which explains why many of his friends were disgusted by him. Still, he has been growing more and more confident with each episode, so we're also growing confident that in season 6, Andrew is going to finally get a girlfriend. It would be sad seeing him without one. He's not a bad guy if you can see past all that provision. And now we come to Nick, the main character of this show. He had his heart crushed by Jess who humiliated him in front of everyone. This is why his love bug has just transformed into a hate worm, the opposite of what happened with Missy. Before things could get out of hand, Nick meets his adult counterpart, Nick Kroll, and this helped him deal with all of that hatred in his life. And this means in the next season, all of that time he spends being angry and resentful towards his friends and family will need to be fixed. This is why we're thinking he's going to be spending more time with them while trying to cope with the problems of puberty and trying to come to terms with adulthood. Of course, there's been fans who have been asking about the potential 7th season and whether or not Netflix has released any news on this front, but it seems to us like it's going to have to wait a while. For the time being, there is no news, official or unofficial, that the streaming behemoth will be renewing the show for a 7th season. Well, I was waiting for him to apologize and then he died of a heroin overdose. Wow, that must have been really tough. And we've heard people saying all sorts of things, from how Netflix won't let go of the cash cow that is Big Mouth, their most popular adult animated comedy series, to people saying that there isn't going to be any more of this show, so we should enjoy it while it lasts. Still, there are those who think the show's over-the-top graphics should be stopped, so they'll say it's likely season 6 will never happen. We don't know if the first two are true, but we definitely know that the last one definitely isn't going to be true. So, we're not going to be speculating just for the sake of speculation. Andrew, let's get on the highway. I want to moon some truckers. One second, I'm figuring out the signal. On a related note, who would you say is a better horror mom mom? Monster. Maury or Connie? You can tell us in the comment section below. If you'd like more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you'll never miss any of them. And as always, thanks for watching, guys. Andrew, and I can deal with this if the answer is yes. Are you the ponytail killer?